In Denmark, we have a binding climate act that compels us to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by 70% by 2030. By 2050, Denmark will be an entirely climate neutral country. These future milestones are beacons on a journey that started decades ago. In fact, the origins of Denmark's green transition date back to the 1970s. 99% dependent on imported fossil fuels, the oil crises of the 70s forced us to develop a more diversified energy supply and introduce a range of energy efficient measures. Growing public concern about pollution and the depletion of natural resources led to the establishment of the world's first Ministry of Environment. In the 1980s, oxygen-starved fish were found dead in the Kattegat Sea. Agricultural discharge into the waterways spurred Denmark to devise its first national water action plan with a focus on cleaner wastewater. Domestic energy production was increased via oil and gas extraction in the North Sea. State support for wind farms and green electricity production combined with the country's resounding no to nuclear power, aided the expansion of wind power and the rollout of energy efficiency initiatives. Denmark made history by erecting the world's first offshore wind farm in 1991. New coal power plants were banned. We began liberalizing our energy sector and achieved self-sufficiency in energy production. The 90s also saw Denmark moving to reduce landfill by incinerating waste to provide district heating. The new millennium heralded growing awareness of the threat of climate change. Accordingly, the Danish parliament set ambitious targets regarding green power generation and CO2 reductions. Two new large-scale offshore wind farms in the North Sea were commissioned and we began trading electricity with our Nordic neighbours. Copenhagen's intense cloudburst in 2011, which flooded the city and affected critical infrastructure, causing considerable economic damage. This led to a requirement that all Danish municipalities devise climate adaptation plans. In 2012, Denmark declared its goal to become fossil-free by 2050. Later, we set the ambitious target of cutting emissions by 70% by 2030. But how will we achieve this? By maintaining a strong focus on energy efficiency and massively expanding renewable energy generation. By building energy islands connected to thousands of offshore wind turbines. By implementing a new comprehensive CO2 tax and decarbonizing our industries, including transportation and shipping via green fuels. We're on the way to realizing our vision of becoming a climate neutral society. But we're not there yet. Let's share our learnings and accelerate each other's green transition.